is another thing I've been working on. It's an LED square, which, once I've uh, made another four of them, uh, will be an LED, LED cube. Um, you can see that's uh, RGB there. It's doing all the colours. Um, that's running off my Team C, uh, Team C3 down there, which uh, the chap who made that uh, wrote a library specifically for running uh, these uh, this LED strip, well, rather, a uh, string of LEDs um, using the, I'll oh, just look at the numbers, uh, so WS2811 LED module. Um, I got this uh, string of LEDs. Do, 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 do. Um, I've got five of them for. Uh, I think it worked out that it's about forty pounds for the five of them in total. Um, one of them is actually a fifty. So, but they can all be strung together in uh, in series. Um, the this is all currently running off USB, but I'd imagine I'm going to have to use the proper power supply to uh, run all f five faces at once. Um, yeah, that's looking quite good. Uh, it's all hot glued onto a set of uh, bamboo rods. Um, well, I say rods, they're kebab skewers. Um, it could be a bit straighter, but whatever. Um, Cheap and dirty. Um, not bad at all. I uh, need to actually program it to do something more than the, well, that's just a basic rainbow uh, test thing that came with the TNC library. Um, yeah, this is the same as, um, I think, uh, the Ardafruit uh, NeoPixel range uh, is uses the same chip, but it's uh, a lot smaller than these. Um, these are quite big these fellas not not huge uh, uh, four centimeters tall um, uh, mainly used for building uh, kind of signs on the front of uh, shops I think um, uh, waterproof so I could leave this out in the rain I guess um, yeah there you go takes a while to glue them all together and gave me a terrible back because I haven't got a proper workspace but uh, yeah might take me a couple of weeks to put them together in total good night